KTSM is your local election headquarters. Four veteran law enforcement officers face off in the race for El Paso County Sheriff. KTSM 9 News anchor Estefania Seyfert continues our coverage tonight with the candidates' positions on the controversial federal contract with the county jail. For some of the candidates, it was that contract which convinced them to run. We asked all four how they feel about it and whether or not they plan to extend or eliminate it if elected. When it comes to the contract between the county jail and the U.S. Marshals, El Paso County Sheriff Richard Wiles believes it's a deal that saves taxpayers money. That funding that we get in from the U.S. Marshals contract uh, helps us to offset the cost of running the jail. It costs approximately $72 million to run both facilities, the one downtown and the one in Far East, and we brought in as much as $24 million a year. Uh, from the federal government. That jail contract, however, has become controversial because it allows the county to house federal inmates, including undocumented immigrants, while making a profit. Ron Martin, a sergeant with El Paso Police, believes immigration duties should not be carried out by law enforcement officers. I do not think families and kids that are trying to escape basically horrible conditions in the countries in which they live should be detained in any type of a lockdown facility, you know, guards, barbed wire, issues like that. Carlos Carrillo is open to the jail housing federal inmates, but believes migrant detention should not be handled by the county. What we need to realize is the jail is for those accused of a crime, not immigrants. It's a two section. And the thing is that whenever they're there for facing uh, accused of a crime, the jail is going to be open to our federal agencies so they can bring them in. Raul Mendiola, not on board with the jail housing migrants unless Unless they've committed a crime. For him, the contract needs to be revisited. I, I think we can use a jail to uh, house federal inmates, although I would work and review the contract and if I have to increase the cost and work on a, on a contract to get more pay for the housing, I would do that. As for other issues like mental health services for deputies, all candidates said they would work to provide more resources at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office as well as increase community involvement. Stephanie is safe for KTSM 9 News.